Well, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today we are going to continue to do the English learning. Today we are going to try to do a listening. Number seven. Part four. You will hear a professor of philosophy giving a talk on the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Stoicism is still relevant today because of its what appear. Asian Stoics. 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 Stoicism was founded over 2,000 years ago in Greece. Greece. The Stoics' ideas are surprisingly well known despite not being intended for what? Stoic. Stoic principles. Happiness could be achieved by leading a virtuous, virtuous life, controlling emotions where what was essential. Epictetus. Epictetus said that external events cannot be controlled, but what people make in response can be controlled. A Stoic is someone who has a different view on experiences which others would consider as something. The influence of a Stoic Season. Gurge Weston organized a what about what to motivate his men. The French artist, this person was a Stoic. A Dan Smith's idea on what were influenced by Stoicism. Some of these political leaders are inspired by the Stoics. Cognitive behavior. Therapy. Therapy. The treatment for what is based on ideas from Stoicism. People learn to base their thinking on what. In business, People benefit from Stoicism by identifying obstacles as what? Relevance of Stoicism. It requires a lot of what, but Stoicism can help people to lead a good life. It teaches people that having a strong character is more important than anything else. Well, to be honest, I don't know um, what the whole topic is about this passage. I don't even know the meaning of this word. Stoicism. Stoicism. Mm, but we will find out. Let me just try Part to play four. it. You will hear a professor of philosophy giving a talk on the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Ancient philosophy is not just about talking or lecturing or even reading long, dense books. In fact, it is something people have used throughout history to solve their problems and to achieve their greatest triumphs. Specifically, I am referring to Stoicism, which in my opinion is the most practical of all philosophies and therefore the most appealing. Stoicism was founded in ancient Greece by Zeno of Citium in the early 3rd century BC, but was practiced by the likes of Epictetus, Cato, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. Amazingly, we still have access to these ideas, despite the fact that the most famous Stoics never wrote anything down for publication. Cato definitely didn't. Marcus Aurelius never intended his meditations to be anything but personal. Seneca's letters were, well, letters, and Epictetus's thoughts come to us by way of a note-taking student. Stoic principles were based on the idea that its followers could have an unshakable happiness in this life, and the key to achieving this was virtue. The road to virtue, in turn, lay in understanding that destructive emotions like anger and jealousy are under our conscious control. They don't have to control us, because we can learn to control them. In the words of Epictetus, external events I cannot control, but the choices I make with regard to them I do control. The modern day philosopher and writer Nassim Nicholas Taleb defines a Stoic as someone who has a different perspective on experiences which most of us would see as wholly negative. A Stoic transforms fear into caution, pain into transformation, mistakes into initiation, and desire into undertaking. Using this definition as a model, we can see that throughout the centuries, Stoicism has been practiced in more recent history by kings, presidents, artists, writers, and entrepreneurs. The founding fathers of the United States were inspired by the philosophy. George Washington was introduced to Stoicism by his neighbors at age 17, and later put on a play based on the life of Cato to inspire his men. 
Thomas Jefferson kept a copy of Seneca beside his bed. Writers and artists have also been inspired by the Stoics. Eugene Delacroix, the renowned French Romantic artist known best for his painting Liberty Leading the People, was an ardent Stoic, referring to it as his consoling religion. The economist Adam Smith's theories on capitalism were significantly influenced by the Stoicism that he studied as a schoolboy, under a teacher who had translated Marcus Aurelius's works. Today's political leaders are no different, with many finding their inspiration from the ancient texts. Former US President Bill Clinton re-reads Marcus Aurelius every single year, and many have compared former President Obama's calm leadership style to that of Cato. Wen Jiaobao, the former Prime Minister of China, claims that Meditations is one of two books he travels with, and that he has read it more than 100 times over the course of his life. Stoicism had a profound influence on Albert Ellis who invented cognitive behavior therapy, which is used to help people manage their problems by changing the way that they think and behave. It's most commonly used to treat depression. The idea is that we can take control of our lives by challenging the irrational beliefs that create our faulty thinking, symptoms, and behaviors by using logic instead. Stoicism has also become popular in the world of business. Stoic principles can build the resilience and state of mind required to overcome setbacks because Stoics teach turning obstacles into opportunity, a lesson every business entrepreneur needs to learn. I would argue that studying Stoicism is as relevant today as it was 2,000 years ago, thanks to its brilliant insights into how to lead a good life. At the very root of the thinking, there is a very simple way of living. Control what you can and accept what you can't. This is not as easy as it sounds and will require considerable practice. It can take a lifetime to master. The Stoics also believed the most important foundation for a good and happy life is not money, fame, power or pleasure, but having a disciplined and principled character, something which seems to resonate with many people today. That is the end of part 4. Okay guys, I must admit that I have missed the two questions there. I didn't hear it clearly, so that's why I couldn't answer those questions. But that's okay, let me just try to listen to it again. Your different perspective on experience are put on a play by his president, one who has a different perspective on experiences which most of us would see as wholly negative. A stoic transforms fear into caution, pain into transformation, mistakes into initiation, and desire into undertaking. Using this definition as a model, we can see that throughout the centuries, Stoicism has been practiced in more recent history by kings, presidents, artists, writers, and entrepreneurs. The founding fathers of the United States were inspired by the philosophy. George Washington was introduced to Stoicism by his neighbors at age 17, and later put on a play based on the life of Cato to inspire his man. Thomas Jefferson kept a copy of Seneca beside his bed. Writers and artists have also been inspired by the Stoics. Eugene Delacroix, the renowned French Romantic artist known best for his painting Liberty Leading the People, was an ardent Stoic, referring to it as his consoling religion. The economist Adam Smith's theories on capitalism were significantly influenced by the Stoicism that he studied as a schoolboy, under a teacher who had translated Marcus Aurelius's work. Today's political leaders are no different, with many finding their inspiration from the ancient texts. Former US President Bill Clinton re-reads Marcus Aurelius every single year, and many have compared former President Obama's calm leadership style to that of Cato. Wen Jiaobao, the former Prime Minister of China, claims that Meditations is one of two books he travels with, and that he has read it more than 100 times over the course of his life. Stoicism had a profound influence on Albert Ellis who invented cognitive behavior therapy, which is used to help people manage their problems by changing the way that they think and behave. It's most commonly used to treat depression. The idea is that we can take control of our lives by challenging the irrational beliefs that create our faulty thinking, symptoms, and behaviors by using logic instead. Stoicism has also become popular in the world of business. Stoic principles can build the resilience and state of mind required to overcome setbacks because Stoics teach turning obstacles into opportunity, a lesson every business entrepreneur needs to learn. Alright, I definitely did the wrong typing for the opportunity.
Let me try to do it again. Opportunity. So this is a word that we're going to use to solve that kind of you know, problem. And for this one, practice is that might be right. The teaching is probably okay. Honey native. I may did the wrong typing for the honey. Yeah, of course. Honey negative. For the choices, it might be right. For the publication, it's probably okay. Practical, that's probably right. I still couldn't have an idea of these two blanks, but let me try to think about that. The treatment for what is based on ideas from association. The treatment for chaos? I'm not sh pretty sure about that, but um, it might be right. People nerd to based on people nerd to base their thinking on positive things. This is my guessing, but I still couldn't know the right answer for this time. Influenced by the stoicism that he studied as a schoolboy under a teacher who had translated Marcus Aurelius's works. Today's political leaders are no different, with many finding their inspiration from the ancient texts. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton rereads Marcus Aurelius every single year, and many have compared former President Obama's calm leadership style to that of Cato. Wen Jiaobao, the former Prime Minister of China, claims that Meditations is one of two books he travels with, and that he has read it more than 100 times over the course of his life. Stoicism had a profound influence on Albert Ellis, who invented cognitive behavior therapy, which is used to help people manage their problems by changing the way that they think and behave times over the course of his life. Stoicism had a profound influence on Albert Ellis, who invented cognitive behavior therapy, which is used to help people manage their problems by the treatment for problems, changing the way that they think and behave. It's most commonly used to treat depression. The idea is that we can take control of our lives by challenging the irrational beliefs that create our faulty thinking, symptoms, and behaviors by using logic instead. People know to base their thinking on logics. I think this is right. Right. So this is basically what I do. You know, I almost think everything is logic. It might be right because only by doing so I could feel that we could predict the future. Um, because if the future, uh, because if those things are not happened by logic, then you couldn't be able to do the prediction. And so I often think everything is logic. I often think everything is logic, and they happen logically. All right. So um, this is what I could do so far. Now let me just head the submit button and you say we got uh, it pretty wrong that's okay let me just get into it and say what we did wrong for the first few stuff i'm oh here's why we got it wrong write down one word only for each answer because it will only require one word but uh, apparently i i wrote two of them so that's why we got the error for example the 34 holy negative what i wrote is holy negative but the correct answer is negative that's fine and for this one, Gorgi Waston organized a what about Carlton to motivate his people. My answer is plan, but his answer is play. And um, George Washington, he is not a player, so how he could manage a play than a plan? I thought he would more likely to make a plan for his people. I don't know. Now for the next uh, one, my answer is teaching, his answer is this one. Capitalism third. Capitalism. Anna Smith's ideas on capitalism were influenced by Stoicism. 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 Why? We all know that Adam Smith is a writer. He writes books and the most, let's say, famous book that he wrote is a book that was talking about the capitalizing. And clearly he's doing the writing while he's being a teacher. But I somehow misunderstood the meaning for this one. So that's why I get it wrong. Mm, okay, so let's go to the next one. 37. Problems. My answer is problems but his answer is depression. The treatment for depression is based on ideas. Stoicism. Wrong stoicism. Mm -hmm. That's okay. People know to base their thinking on my answer is logics, but his answer is logic. I think they are, let's say, seminar, but the only problem is that for the logic, it cannot have the S after it, I think. No, it could have it. Let me do a search about this word, logics. Well, it seems like we indeed have a word for the logics. So that might be right, but I don't know why. We will only use logic than logics. And for the last one, oh, uh, we did right. But, oh, for this one, I intended to, I intended to write down the practices, but uh, it seems like I did it so wrong here. I used the, I used a different form for that word. I said practices, but the correct answer is practice. Why? Why we couldn't? 
shouldn't just add an S after that word. So in theory, I just uh, get three of them wrong. So in theory, I should get the 70% score out from this question. Um, but we did a lot of wrong typing kind of thing. So that's why we get, let's say, a very low score. But that's okay. This is the learning. So the only purpose for this activity is for us to learn something new. Um, let's just try to do the listening again to see if we can find it understandable for us. The founding fathers of the United States were inspired by the philosophy. George Washington was introduced to Stoicism by his neighbors at age 17 and later put on a play based on the life of Cato to inspire his men. Right. Um, if we listen to it carefully, we would definitely know that, yes, it is talking about the play than then. Thomas Jefferson kept a copy of Seneca beside his bed. Writers and artists have also been inspired by the Stoics. Eugene Delacroix, the renowned French romantic artist known best for his painting Liberty Leading the People, was an ardent Stoic, referring to it as his consoling religion. The economist Adam Smith's theories on capitalism were significantly influenced by the Stoicism that he studied as a schoolboy, under a teacher who had translated Marcus Aurelius's works. Capitalizing. Adam Smith's ideas on capitalizing were influenced by this one. Liberty leading the people was an ardent Stoic, referring to it as his consoling religion. The economist Adam Smith's theories on capitalism were significantly influenced by the Stoicism that he studied as a schoolboy. So this person's mind has been influenced by the stock season when he was still a schoolboy. In other words, when he still um, in the learning at the school. Under a teacher who had translated Marcus Aurelius's works. Today's political leaders are no different, with many finding their inspiration from the ancient texts. Former US President Bill Clinton re-reads Marcus Aurelius every single year, and many have compared former President Obama's calm leadership style to that of Cato. Wen Jiaobao, the former Prime Minister of China, claims that Meditations is one of two books he travels with, and that he has read it more than 100 times over the course of his life. Stoicism had a profound influence on Albert Ellis, who invented cognitive behavior therapy, which is used to help people manage their problems by changing the way that they think and behave. It's most commonly used to treat depression. It is commonly used to, to treat the depression. That's why here we will write down the depression. The treatment for depression is based on ideas from the Stoicism. Stoicism. From the Stoicism. The idea is that we can take control of our lives by challenging the irrational beliefs that create our faulty thinking, symptoms, and behaviors by using logic instead. By using logic instead. So here, if you listen carefully, he was just use a word logic than logic. So for the next time, if you had to answer this question, you had to be very careful about what you hear. Stoicism has also become popular in the world of business. Stoic principles can build the resilience and state of mind required to overcome setbacks because Stoics teach turning obstacles into opportunity, a lesson every business entrepreneur needs to learn. I would argue that studying Stoicism is as relevant today as it was 2,000 years ago, thanks to its brilliant insights into how to lead a good life. At the very root of the thinking, there is a very simple way of living. Control what you can and accept what you can't. This is not as easy as it sounds and will require considerable practice. It will require considerably practice. Here again, what he said is just a single word, practice, not practices. So we have to be very careful about this, about what we hear. We only write down those words that we hear instead of some word that we imagine it should be. It can take a lifetime to master. The Stoics also believed the most important foundation for a good and happy life is not money, fame, power, or pleasure, but having a discipline and principled character, something which seems to resonate with many people today. That is the end of part four. So... 
Stock season. Stoicism. Stoicism. It's just um, I say a group of principles or beliefs or rules that you could take to make you be a more positive man and a more principled man and let's say a more a man that could control your own life. I think it, it is something like that. It's more like a let's say a, a thoughts, a group of thoughts that could help you to let's say reach a better life. All right. So I think this is today's learning and. And I hope you got something from it. That's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.